Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. I am an Apostolic Pentecostal. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I've missed you. Even though we haven't personally introduced ourselves, I still want to know who you are. Your name is? Hey, nice to meet you. Seem like a cool cat. First and foremost, I do want to apologize for not uploading a video yesterday. Uh, the devil decided to attack my room specifically in this house and knock out all my outlets. So therefore, I wasn't able to get to my computer to edit or film or do any of the fun stuff that I uh, love doing uh, while creating these videos. So I do apologize, but with the power of the Holy Spirit, I was able to shoot that demon out of here and we are back live so we're not going to waste any more time and because you have navigated your way to my channel you have made it just in time for the daily mop which makes you a mop head now what's a mop head you ask well like with any good old mop you take it and you start cleaning dirty floors to make them clean so with the daily mop you're going to be hearing messages of power messages of praise messages of prayer to clean up with what you got going on up here with the word of God. But with no further ado, let's get into today's daily mop. And in today's message of prayer, we're going to be talking about why you and I need to leave the 99. Go ahead and roll that clip. Now, right now, as you're watching this, I want you to ask yourself something. Who was in your group at church last year around this time? Now I'm gonna get one of two answers. The first group's gonna say, well, our group looks the exact same. And there's nothing wrong with that. We are in this together and praise God that you've got a strong youth group. Some of y'all are gonna think and look around and, and remember, wait, I think we're missing this guy or aren't we missing this brother? Aren't we missing this sister? This group just doesn't look the same. See, Jesus tells us a beautiful parable that we find in Luke 15 about the shepherd who has a hundred sheep leaves the 99 to search for the one. So he told him this parable. What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does he not leave the 99 into the open country and search for the one until he finds it? Now you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ladies, I know you obsessed when you're trying to look for that one accessory, that one article of clothing that's gonna complete your outfit for that church service, for that day at work. What do you do? You've got a hundred options in front of you, but you obsess until you find that one. Men, we're the exact same way. We see a beautiful, godly woman in worship. We see her praying. We see her worshiping at convention, at youth camps. And what do we do? We've got all these options in front of us, but we obsess until we find the one that we want. But my goodness, ladies, what happens when you find that one article? Men, what do we do when we find that one godly woman? We rejoice over it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulder rejoicing. And we tell everyone, wow, we found it. We found her, we found the perfect match. Ladies, you tore up your closet. You're throwing things everywhere until you found it. Guys, we are searching through the crowd. We're asking, hey, have you seen? We're basically stalking on Instagram. You know exactly what I'm talking about until we find it. And then we rejoice and we, we tell everyone about it. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his family, saying to them, rejoice with me for I have found my lost sheep. See, what if we became a generation that became obsessed with finding the loss, that became obsessed with leaving the 99, which we know are good, and searching for that one. The easy thing is, for nowadays, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. You and I need to get really serious as a generation of searching for those wanting to know the truth. What if we became in that mindset to obsess and do whatever it takes to find the one lost soul. Would you and I not rejoice? Do we not do that when someone chooses they want to repent and be baptized in Jesus' name? Do we not rejoice? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the heavens rejoice. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over the repentance of one person than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. YouTube, Facebook audience, whoever's watching, what I'm trying to say is can you and I this year, these next few months as we enter summer, as we enter this beautiful season of harvesting, can we not make it our mission to start looking around and remembering those who were once worshiping with us a year ago? Why not we just reach out to them? I have a burden now 
for those who are not here anymore to go out and find them because they need exactly what I've got now. They need Jesus. And it's such a joy to see a person change their life completely. We've got to do more for our communities. There are communities simply hurting, simply needing more, and they don't know what they need until we show them and tell them our testimony that Jesus is truly all that we need. So let's make a promise. How about you and I this week? We go out and we leave the 99 and we search for that one person. Let God reveal that person to you. Go into prayer and ask God to put someone in your heart to really reach out for them and fight for them in prayer and make it your absolute mission to get them to that next youth rally, to get them to that next big event at church, to get them to the next church service. And God will be so pleased with you for going out and doing his work that he will surely, surely bless you. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, before you leave, I want you to do four things. If you enjoyed this content, I want you to give this video a like. Secondly, I want you to leave a comment down below. Tell me that one person, don't put their names, okay? But tell me about that one person that you've really been praying for and how you wanna see them in church. Three, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And four, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload the next video. But with no further ado, thank you all for watching. My name is Brother Mario. God bless you.